Hey everyone, today we're going to make cha kwe tiao from scratch. From the chewy rice noodles to the vegan egg, this cha kwe tiao is legit. Let's go! The first thing we need to make is the flat rice noodles or kwe tiao. To a bowl, add 125 grams of regular rice flour and 55 grams of tapioca starch. Pour in 300 ml of water in stages, whisking as you go to make sure everything is incorporated well with no lumps. We will end up with a loose, watery batter like this. Next, we need a shallow baking pan. It can be glass, steel, or non-stick. I'm using an 8-inch non-stick pan. We're going to grease the pan with a pastry brush. Make sure to get the sides as well. Scoop about a quarter cup of the batter and pour it into the pan. Swirl it around to cover the entire pan in an even layer. Get the steamer ready. I'm using an electric steamer. This makes the process a lot easier as you don't have to control the stove. Steam the batter for 1-3 to three minutes until it turns translucent all over. Take it out of the steamer and brush generously with oil. Score the edges with a spatula and then lift it up. Peel it away and there's our first layer of glossy and bouncy kwe tiao. Place on a plate and then repeat the process with the remaining batter. Depending on the size of the pan that you use, the amount of layers you get will vary. But regardless, you'll get 400 grams of kwe tiao which is enough for two generous servings. Put the kwe tiao layers on a chopping board. Get a sharp knife and grease it very generously. Cut it as thin or as wide as you like. I'm going for slightly wider than the standard kwe tiao. And now comes the fun part. We need to peel the kwe tiao one by one into individual ribbons. This is a little bit time consuming but so fun and therapeutic to do. It's best to use fresh homemade kwe tiao right away. But if you're not going to, don't peel them apart. Just leave them stacked in layers and store them in an airtight container in the fridge. Now that we've made the noodles, it's time to move on to the cha kwe tiao. The cooking process requires high heat and it will be very quick, so we need to get everything ready before we start. First, let's prepare the sauce. Mix 1.5 tablespoons of soy sauce with 1 tablespoon of sweet soy sauce and 1 tablespoon of vegetarian oyster sauce. Add 1 tablespoon of sugar and 1 teaspoon of ground white pepper. Lastly, break in half a cube of vegetable stock. Stir everything together, then set aside. For the eggy part of cha kwe tiao, feel free to use a commercial vegan egg product like just egg or just even plain silken tofu. But let me show you a quick vegan egg recipe for this. We need 15 grams of chickpea flour and 15 grams of rice flour. Mix with 1 teaspoon of white pepper and 2 teaspoons of nutritional yeast. Add in 1 teaspoon of cornstarch and mix the dry ingredients together. Mix it with 60 ml or a quarter cup of water. Then plop in 50 grams of silken tofu. Break it up and stir it in. Don't worry about getting it smooth. Some clumps of tofu is fine. Lastly, add a pinch of eggy black salt. Keep the vegan egg aside and let's cut a few more things for the cha kwe tiao. Get 4 cloves of garlic and slice it. Then mince finely. Next, we need a bunch of garlic chives. Chop them into finger length pieces. A key ingredient in cha kwe tiao is bean sprouts. This is one third of a cup. Feel free to use more if you like. Traditional cha kwe tiao is made with prawns, fish cakes or Chinese sausage. I'm using meaty, frozen and thawed tofu, but you can absolutely use any other plant-based meat product that you prefer. Next, we need a quarter cup of canned button mushrooms. I know this may seem like a really strange ingredient, but trust me on this. Cha kwe tiao usually has cockles in them, and these mushrooms have a rubbery texture that's kind of similar and just works. The last ingredient we need is chili paste. It's just ground dried chilies cooked in oil. You could also use chili oil or sambal or skip it all together if you're not into spicy food. Now that we have all our ingredients prepped and ready to go, we can start cooking. I'm going to use a wok for the most authentic flavor, but you could also use a cast iron pan to get a similar flavor. Turn on the heat and pour in about 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil. Swirl it around to coat the entire wok. Toss in our minced garlic and fry briefly. Then add the tofu and stir it around. Once they get a touch of color on them, add in 1 tablespoon of chili paste. Stir to coat the tofu and garlic with the chili paste. Then we can add in our canned mushrooms and the bean sprouts. All these ingredients take no time at all to cook. They just need to char briefly. Next, let's add in 200 grams of kwe tiao, half of the batch we made earlier. To stir the noodles without breaking them, we want to scoop from underneath and flip. Once the kwe tiao is covered in the chili and oil, we can add in our soy sauce mix. The sauce is going to bubble and caramelize as you stir the kwe tiao together. Once it's dry, push all the noodles aside and pour in half of the vegan egg mixture on the side. Let the vegan egg set just for 20 to 30 seconds or so. Then we can mix it into the rest of the ingredients in the pot. When the kwe tiao and vegan egg become one and everything smells caramelly and charred, we can add our last ingredient. Toss in the garlic chives and stir them in. We're going to cook for the briefest moment, just for the chives to wilt and we are done. Super fast! For the classic cha kwe tiao experience, serve on a square of fresh banana leaf. Look how some of the noodles curl up. That's my favorite part. So there you have it. Homemade vegan cha kwe tiao. For more Malaysian favorites veganized, watch this video next and I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.